first thing is that the first line treatment of myeloma aims to achieve MRV negativity and eventually to cure some patients. So we are doing more intensive treatments, uh, basically with quadruplets. That means the anti-CD30 antibody, the init, the proteasome inhibitor, and the exemetasome in combination with or without transplant, with or without consolidations, with uh, surely with a durable duration of treatment, maintenance, consolidation, whatever, with one drug, with two drugs, with the aim of really trying to cure a proportion of patients. And the first, uh, the first evidence of a potential cure patient is MRV uh, sustained MRV negativity. Uh, the best to improve first line treatment, the more we improve first line treatment, the worse are the patients that are relapsing. So we will have less patients relapsing, some patients relapsing very late, but patients that are relapsing early after a very intensive treatment, I mean, they are patients that they are very refractory to drugs, they develop the drug resistance very easily. So uh, our second line options are um, getting uh, suboptimal with respect to uh, the options that were very good a few years ago, now are already suboptimal. So here we have right now combinations basically of monoclonal antibodies, carfils and formalidomide, but uh, we are going to run short of, of, of these because uh, the antibody is also being incorporated to the first line. The first available alternatives will come from the combination of Bell and Tamat, likely. We will have results during this year. The combinations uh, of uh, biospecifics will come later or by specifics alone will come bit later, but we already have results from CARTITUDE 4, CARMA 3, in which these patients in uh, early relapses uh, do well with CARTs. The problem with CARTs, will, of course, will be access and availability to do the CART process uh, on time in patients that might be relapsing very fast and might be relapsing very aggressively. But the cards will be the, the third option here. So by specifics, cards, uh, the Lambda mapping combination will be the future alternatives for for the lab station. In the advanced setting right now, we have are being we are in the process of approving all across Europe by a specific and cards, and these will be the options in that setting. For amyloidosis, for amyloidosis, we have um, the problem that we are obtaining good hematological responses with the approved combinations. Right now, cyclophosphamide botes and dexamethasone plus daratumumab is the approved combination in Europe. You have mm, very good hematological responses, but that not always translate into an organ response. Organ response is delayed and not always happens, even with the best treatments happens probably in about 50% of the patients. And we need uh, to develop drugs in which we can remove amyloid from, from the involved organ. And that will come from trials that are ongoing with, uh, with uh, monoclonal antibodies that uh, uh, just um, get, uh, get stuck to, to this uh, amyloid in the organs and the amyloid fibrils that are circulating, like virtamimab, KL101. But these trials are ongoing, so we'll still have to wait a few years probably to have results of these trials and to have a couple of these drugs.